So um, for us, I, I, whether I was going to put the ball in the hoop or try to defend or try to stay in foul trouble, which he did until the second half. But uh, whatever I needed to do to help us out, I mean, just some shots fell today. What has the season just been like for you as a whole in terms of what your expectations were and some confidence issues and getting back to kind of routes before and that matters? Uh, every season's a roller coaster. I have, I've had seasons like this at Bucknell where you start out well, you start out poor, and you finish strong. And that's, that's the best thing for me is just trying to finish the season out strong and, and finish the regular season out strong and finish it out on top. And, and that's what we're trying to do. And personally, I'm trying to do the same thing. I mean, had a, a little bit of a slump in January, and January. He's trying to finish the season out strong. What do you think it says about the man He doesn't shoot with three for 10, but he has double for the rebounds. And, you know, he no, really contributes. Yeah, he's a, he's a winner. That's what you need if you don't make all your shots. He's going to make all his free throws. And what, 11 rebounds, 10 rebounds? Well, like, so, yeah, yeah, he's that's huge. And, and he's, he's been doing that for us. Every, How tough is that for a player to do? everybody lives for making shots, right? He's a mentally tough kid. You see him when he's at the free throw line, nothing phases him. And if you miss a couple of shots, he's going to shoot the next couple, so it doesn't matter. And, and he's a shooter. And shooters shoot, and that's what he does, and that's what he does really well. How big was the crowd today? That's a big I mean, that's awesome. That's, that's a big time crowd for us. It gets, gets us going, gets a little bit of momentum. We hit a couple of shots, the crowd's behind you. We're like four minutes left, uh, we had a little bit of a lead, and Crowd started getting into it a little bit. They missed a couple of shots. We got a couple more possessions and kind of just put a fork in them. Coach Pearl said they asked him why down at Auburn they really attacked the rim right? again and again. Today they were shooting a lot of threes. He said he didn't think they'd get calls uh, <laughs> on the road. Well, how does that play on your mind? Uh, I don't know. I mean, our, our whole thing was trying to limit their drives and force them into tough contested jump shots. And I think we did a really good job of that today. Uh, and then make sure that we hit first. We watched the film the other day, and they killed us in the glass. I think we ended up tying them today, which is big. I mean, they rebounded the ball really well. So. Nate, did you all feel like you had anything in particular to prove today because of the first time in the game? Because there were some questions about the, the quality of teams you all have been beating against mm -hmm. a really good team. You out there and made a statement. I don't know if we had anything to prove as much as just kind of within our our team, just knowing that we can do it. This is a team that you might face in March or a team like this that you're going to face in March, and that's what we're playing for. And and a team like this today at home towards the end of the season and to get a win like this is, is huge for us, and it has it carries a lot of momentum going into the next game and the next two. Coach, it was awesome. Yeah, no, it feels good. You see one go down, you feel like everything's going to go down uh, and kind of have a little bit of confidence going into the next one. So I just... Trying to do that every time I shoot it, just shoot it confidently and you know that it's going to go in. And if I don't, then shoot the next one confident. What do you think of the journey you guys have taken from the loss of Evansville to Evansville? It's stunned everybody to winning the SEC and winning eight in a row, whatever it is. Yeah, I mean, people are going to doubt you. People are going to say that you're going to have a bad season. Everybody thought we were going to be a poor three point shooting team at the beginning of the year. So, uh, just with, within our team, just trusting and believing that everything that we're doing in practice is going to pay off and, and all the hard work that we do and all the shooting and all the extra workouts and conditioning and lifting, everything's going to pay off in the house. And we're, we're playing really, really good basketball and uh, got to give a lot of credit to our coaches for that and to our strength coach and our trainer, Jeff, for keeping everybody healthy too. That's big for us, especially at the end of the year. Um, and just, I don't know, it's, it's like I said, it's a long season and we're going to say stuff early. And, SEC champs. Uh, the reason I asked is the coach is kind of making, kind of using humor, yeah. saying yeah, everybody talks happens in Evansville. Yeah. Evans. Do you guys hear? I mean, no. you know, I don't. No, we block it out. It's, if it's not within the team, it's not within the locker room, then it doesn't really matter to us. And that's how everybody is in the team. Gal says these titles aren't something that you guys really shoot for. It's about what you guys learned for that big tournament. Yeah. What have you guys learned on this run and this eight game win streak and, and winning this tournament? I mean, I think in March, to win six games to win it all, right? So for us, winning eight in a row proves we can do it. Uh, and just we got to kind of carry that momentum going forward. Um, but it, it shows us that we're, we're mentally tough enough, physically tough enough to finish out games and to win close games and hard games and hostile environments. Uh, Rob, trying to get a team like this, we can do it. Thank you, Bill. Absolutely. Especially going into last couple, or uh, last one, one more week, and then it's the SEC tournament. And, uh, yeah, that's how much it is.
think that one more game this what is this year kind of versus what you expected from them this? It's nuts. I was actually talking to my family about that uh, yesterday. It's I, I came here in June. It's kind of wide-eyed and, and shooting for the stars and, and the fact that it's already March. It's going to be March and I got one more game at Rupp is, is wild to me. I remember my first game here on my visit, I was like, man, I can't wait to play here. And I got one more time doing it. It's, it's just, it's crazy how fast it actually moves. And you just got to soak it all in, especially the next couple days. My family's coming in, my mom and dad, and my sister coming in town, so I'm going to soak that time up too. What did you anticipate that you like? You know what I mean? When you committed to Kentucky, you're going to play in Kentucky. What did you anticipate? I mean, it's going to be nuts. Everything, every, you're going to have 20,000 people in every home game. People are going to come up to you when you leave the lodge. You got to get something to eat. People are going to come up to you. Uh, all that. I mean, it's crazy how much people actually support you when even people you don't even know and they know everything about you. So it's, it's all love and it's great. And for us, it's, it's great to have that. Um, but can't really dwell on everything, especially if you have a bad game, you can't dwell on that. But it's, it's great to have all that support and to just really play in the environment. This is to the mind, like an interaction with a fan or something. You said that, you know, they kind of uh, know you, quote well, unquote. Uh, I, they, I, I think I had said something one time about my mom getting hip surgery, and somebody came up to me when I was getting coffee and I asked how her hip was at like 7 in the morning, 8 in the morning. <laughs> asked what? How her hip was. So I was just like, man, like they actually like, pay attention and they care. So I thought that was pretty cool. <laughs> it must be good to have some guards that are getting rebounds like those guys are. How much does that help out there? That's huge. Emmanuel quickly, double, double. Uh, no, it's, it's huge, especially for us uh, moving forward in, into the, in the postseason and the last couple games of the regular season to have Emmanuel step up and grab a bunch of rebounds, Tyrese had a bunch of rebounds, Ashton's getting a bunch of rebounds. It's, it's big because if me, Nick, EJ, Keon aren't, then they have to for us to win games, and, and they did today. We ended up with a good, good W.